All right, this is how uh, I make my paramagnetic cone tower. And let me tell you what I got here. I've got 12 cups of water in the bucket. We've got the basalt on the right bag, concrete, which is on the left bag. I've got my tower tube that I've built and then the uh, cone top from Harmo Har Harmonious in Nature with Lewis out of uh, Etsy. Now if you notice, I put parchment paper down there so it doesn't stick to the side instead of putting oil. And then the tube will actually come apart. If you look, it's split right down the middle. And I had to buy an end cap. And then that's the red uh, funnel I'm going to use to fill that uh, col colander up, so or the, the tube up. All right. Well, I'm going to go get a mixing, and I'll tell you what I had as far as uh, mixing. It's usually a 60-40 mix, uh, but with this less amount of water, I don't want to uh, waste anything, so... I'm going to have to figure out my mixture as I go so I know how much I need. All right, I'll get back in a few minutes. Back with the follow-up. I was able to measure out 10 cups of the basalt to 7 cups of the concrete, and it got kind of a, eh, not a thick, but not a thin, kind of in between. A little more on the runny side is what I wanted to keep it at to see how it would do. So I went ahead and poured the cone, and then the tower is a little over one foot, maybe about one foot three inches. And like I said, it's uh, 10 to 7 on the ratio that I use. Now if you notice, like I said, I put parchment paper on the inside so it won't stick, and I've got parchment paper on the bottom inside that uh, cap for the uh, tube itself. And then I put parchment paper on the inside of the cone. You can't see it, but it's there. And I did exactly like Lewis said. I cut it, cut the paper like on his video. And then we'll go from there. Uh, I'll get back in a couple days. I'm going to let this set up for a couple days. And then we'll see how everything turned out. A little messy, but that's all right. All right. Until then. Bye.